I've been meaning to do this for a few days now, but life has gotten in the way. And this is my review over Season 2 of The Vikings and of the series in general so far. Well, I would say Season 2 much better than Season 3, and... Well, a very addictive show. Is it too soon to start making Hollywood Heights comparisons? Uh, yes it is. But, you know, they're listening and they're making a third season, so... That's great. Um... First of all, let me clarify. The show, as well as the 50s movie with Kirk Douglas, is based on the tales of Ragnar Lothbrok, which are semi-true. Ragnar's sons were historical figures, but it's not certain whether Ragnar himself really existed. So the two-part question is, how historically accurate is it, and how true is it to the legend? The answer to both is pretty accurate. Um, but... You know, it's very intriguing. It's the type, like, I watch it, and I find myself looking over at the clock to see how much time is left in the episode for stuff to happen. Because I can never wait to see what happens next, and what happens next, it's like... You know, it's not that I look at the clock because I can't wait till it's over. It's I look at the clock because I don't want to stop. <laughs> but, yeah, but that, yeah, that's what makes a good show. Um, as for how it ended, I pretty much predicted before the season finale that King Hork would be dead. So that it wouldn't leave us on a cliffhanger, which it did happen. Uh, the one thing that surprised me, when the fighting began, I started to wonder, what's going on here? I was confused. Did Siggy warn Ragnar of Hork's plot? And, well, not only she, but Loki, uh, which stunned me. I thought Loki really was on Hork's side. But nonetheless, uh... Great show, and I can't wait for season three, even though it's a year away.